Good morning, Keepers, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where, in the last episode, we managed to pick up our health potion. Uh, was there anything else we wanted to pick up? I don't believe there was. No. We've got, well, actually, we've got a number of things that we want to take over to, uh, to the... Do I want to drop these off? Yeah, I kind of do. Uh, we've got a number of things that I wouldn't mind taking over to the... Uh, the church and getting those sorted out and scanned. In fact, I've still got a prayer. Silly me. Why am I still carrying that? I don't know. Don't ask me. Right. Uh, we're okay for another 12 items there. We need to get the, the sorry, the baked meat. But that is going to be so much faster than I thought. I wasn't accounting for the amount of baked meat we get per slice of meat that we use. So uh, that, the, the, the uh, concern is over, we're fine. All right, so having checked out a couple of things down there, it is time for us to head back over. And hmm, sure, we'll uh, get this going because we've got a lot of crop waste we need to get back on the go. I really should start uh, gathering some of the crops here, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about it just yet, just yet. We're gonna, gonna leave that as is for the time being i will probably grab some more mushrooms in a little bit i i've been told off for gathering because i can grow so much food but there's so many things that need stuff i can't grow like mushrooms you sillies all right ah, how i wish oh apparently i can just make that super fast if i just make the polishing paste how do i make polishing paste i now have a reason to do so i just need sand and oil and ceramic oh that, that, that's so much effort how many, how many bowls do I get out of that? I get one, I think. Hmm. Or I can just u keep using a chisel. You know what, fine, we'll just keep using the chisel. I'm gonna make a, a lot of these in order to get everything we want uh, done. Over on the fence for the church, it's gonna be a little bit of a potch, I suppose, but it's fine. We'll make it through, I'm sure. Uh, though we had to have a 24 or something ridiculous. Uh, on the plus side, oh, did we just lose the chisel? It looks like we did. Actually, we only got six. Hmm. Maybe, maybe then there is a reason for us to make the polishing paste. I mean, I'm not against this idea, certainly. Uh, have we studied steel? We have not. We have not studied these gears either. Anything else in here that I ha I'm not already holding on to? Uh, nope. Uh, we haven't studied these. All right. You know what? I think that is something that we're going to go and deal with. We're going to go and take care of that. Have I got any ceramic balls? No. Well, uh, darn it. Uh, I'm going to take... Sure, I'll take one partial stack of bread. And that'll be for my personal use for now. All right, let's go and get some things studied. Ooh, some more wine. Uh, I can't, can't drop them off. Well, uh, I'll pick the wine up on our, my way back. I'm carrying maggots, aren't I? Why do I always carry maggots? I just don't know. I wish I did, but I don't. All right, we can uh, drop off you. Don't need to be carrying you around. Shall we go and quickly check? Anyone want to confess this? Oh, no one wants to confess their sins. Most unsatisfactory. All right, well then, let's go ahead and study some things. So, first and foremost, sure, how much is that going to take? Only one? I approve. I approve enormously. Thank you. We have now discovered the secrets of electric powder. Next up, uh, anything else particularly good for me to study? Uh, anything at all particularly good? No, not really. Uh, black jelly. Let's have a look at you then. I bet you're going to be something useful. Uh, fluid and essence, okay. And we've got a story. Only a copper story. Alright then, let's let's start studying some of the big things. There we go. I bet there's going to be a ridiculous amount of... Yes, it was. Fantastic. Ridiculous amount of work. Uh, a B we will study. That takes three faith to study. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. Thank you. Next up, we will go with... Well, let's start clearing out our, our shelves of just random bric a bac that we don't need to be over there. Thank you. Uh, we, I guess we could. 
Uh, a frog, I suppose, sure. We'll study a frog. Not that we really need all of this uh, green skill, but... Ah, oh, well, that's fine. Fluid and essence from dandelions. Nice. What else are we going to go for? We will go for a moth next. Only one faith needed for that. I'm going to run out of, of paper, or rather science, long before I run out of faith. That's rather nice place to be. It's a very big change from the norm. All right, let's grab some of this bread and uh, gobble that down to continue the studying. It's important work, this. All right, next, green jellies. And then that's going to be our lot for now. All right. Nice. Let's drop off some items over here. Anything I've still not studied can be deposited. All right, so you've not been studied. You've not been studied. Uh, all of you can go in there. As can you. Uh, you not... All right, not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all. Uh, I could condense some of these down, though, a little bit further. That wouldn't be a bad move, all things considered. Let's see what I can grab for now, though. I can grab it all. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, well, alchemy workbench, uh, alchemy rack. I need 10 nails, 12 flitch, and 4 beams. I've already got one beam on me. Let's have a look into this. I also need some more complex iron parts. The alchemy mill requires some um, polished stone. Uh, we're going to need to get conical flasks. That is going to be more tricksy. That is going to be a bit more tricksy, unfortunately. But let's get the alchemy rack first and the distillation cube. So we want eight complex iron parts, ten nails, an extra three wooden beams, and twelve flitch. And we'll bring that down. I think today's episode is largely going to be focused on getting our alchemy up and running. There is no reason, absolutely no reason, why we shouldn't be able to uh, get this up and running fairly uh, quickly as it happens. I'll collect the bread, sure. Uh, anything that I want to drop off in here? No. Let's go and drop this stuff, up, uh, stuff off outside then. Um, the bee can go there. Now, we'll drop off the black jelly for the time being, just in there. Um, you know, I'm starting to feel the green jelly should really go in here as well. Uh, let me go and make sure there's no green jelly in here. No, there is no green jelly in there. Uh, just as well. Right, yo. Let's uh, go and see if there's anything else to drop off there. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, cool. We'll drop off the moth, the maggot, and the butterfly. In here. Oh, actually, we should have dropped off the frog. Uh, I'll take care of that in a moment. All right, do we have... We've got more than enough flitch. Excellent. Do we have nails enough, is the question. Yes, yes, we do. We lack a sufficient quantity of iron ingots, though, to be able to make the advanced metal parts. A shame, truly. Uh, three wooden beams is all we need. That actually works out quite well for us. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad at all. Uh, I'll grab the polished stone as well while I'm here. Okay. Uh, I think we're good there. Do I have anything else I want to drop off? Uh, I've got a plant that I can drop off. So, really? Already? My lord. So much peat. So much peat. I don't think we need even remotely this much peat. Have I got enough room for forage? Yes, I do. There we go. Well, the mushrooms. We'll be able to make some bags with them. Uh, no, no seeds. I uh, just want to drop off this and the plants as well. And grab these. There we go. That'll do. That being said, uh, I've got a little bit of extra room. It does look like we've got a decent amount of... Um, got a decent amount of growth in our vineyard. So I'm going to swing up there, sort that out, and then swing back down. There we are. Still carrying around a frog. I know, I know, I know. Don't worry. I'm going to pop into the house in just a moment. I'll take care of that. Uh, right. I think... With that, though... Once we're done with... Oh, wow. 
Well, I guess we're going to need to set this up to produce a couple of... Um, let's drop these off. We're going to need to get a couple of... Uh, Fried mushrooms, simply because I've got no space to store the raw mushrooms. Which is a bit of a pain, really. Yeah. We'll end up with enough advanced metal parts as well to do a little bit more than I was expecting, actually. We're going to be able to get uh, an extra distillation cube as well. That's actually going to be really good because all of the things that I'm going to be building are all going to work together. I don't even have remotely enough room. Why am I even thinking about going up here? I may as well go and just drop off the... Uh, the yeah, compost, but uh, yeah, we're not harvesting. That is not a thing that we're able to do today. No, no, no. Uh, I've also got uh, a number of things that I want to drop up in the metal chest. Ah, uh, look, look, okay, it's never going to get any much better than this. Much. I, it'll get a little bit better. I am capable of learning, even if I don't choose to exercise this all the time. I am capable of it. It happens on occasion, all right? Uh. Yeah, we'll just grab all of this just in case. I might grab some extra planks, actually, as well. Have we got some extra planks? No, we don't. Uh, oh, we could make flitch enough to make a couple of extra planks. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll pop into the merchant to buy a couple of things, I think, a little bit later. But uh, we're not going to go too out of our way to do that. We'll grab 12. That should be good enough. Uh, we'll need to consume a fair amount of the bread, though, to get all of this work done. Unfortunately, there's no bulk order for for this particular work. Though getting the uh, the seed, uh, the seed oil would be very nice, since getting a lot of clay is generally quite trivial. Making them into ceramic bowl, uh, like dishes. Then pressing the seeds into oil is not a difficult task. Maybe I should do that for the bulk work of the polished stone. Otherwise, I'm going to go through a lot of chisels, making all of the uh, the chisels that I'm going to need for that. And that will be a bit of a potch. Uh, we'll see. All right, I need to use up some of these mushrooms. Specifically, 35 of them. There we go. 35, of course, including the five that's in my inventory. I guess I'll just drop these off there. Hopefully. I'll come by and collect those on the way back before we head into town to speak with the merchant. We've got a lot of wine that we can sell to Haradric. Oh my lord, are we going to be able to make a fair bit of profit there. Right, first and foremost then, let's go and build an alchemy rack. Now the alchemy rack I particularly like having down here somewhere. Um, you can have it here, wherever you particularly want. You can have it over there, maybe. Can we rotate this? No, we can't really do that. I could have it here, but I like the distillation cubes fitting there. Honestly, I think having the alchemy rack there is as good a place as we're ever going to have. Next up, distillation cube. Right there. Next up, is there anything we can? We can build the alchemy mill if we particularly want to. Ooh. Can't make the alchemy workbench, but the alchemy mill is definitely an option. Um... Uh, we'll pop this one. Uh, we can rotate that. Okay. Then we I can we fit that. I can fit it down here. Hmm. I mean, that's an option, certainly. But I think it's probably a better one to go there. And then, can I still build the hand mixer? I can. <gasps> wow. Okay. Like I said, we can make a lot of progress fairly, fairly cheaply right now. Uh, I'm going to quickly put these together and then we're going to rush back and see what we can sell before the merchant leaves today. There we go. Let's get this one on the go. There we are. And you as well, please. I'm starting to run a little bit low on time, but it should be okay, I think. There we are. Uh, grab you. Drop off the life extract. We'll get a good, healthy amount of faith for that. Let's go and grab some hearts over here. I am going to move this around. It's been preying on my mind for a long time. Uh, one, two, there we are. Now we can at least get two of them processed at a time. Our happiest of days. Are we going to make it there in time for the merchant? It's dubious now, actually. 
you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. No, I've decided. I've decided we've got other things that we can invest our time in, and I would prefer to invest them in that. There we go. We have now got the, uh, the mill. And soon enough, we will have oh, this finished as well. There we go. Now, we can pick a resource to use. Anything that can be, uh, I think, milled into powder. So that will probably be chaos powder from the battle, I would imagine. And from you, we can get anything that you can kind of grind up into an essence. Uh, sorry, no, essence down there, or it might be fluid, something along those lines. But let's, uh, for now, just want to make some paper. Let's go ahead and make all of the paper that we can. One, two, men. There we are. And then we will turn some of this into science. Made quite a lot of progress. I remember the, the sort of piecemeal way we built up all of our alchemical stuff in the early access. And this time, because we've taken the time to grind out resources uh, aforehand, super easy. Super, super easy. Right, let's get 16 paper and then we'll quickly decompose that into some science as well. There we go. Fantastic. This is more or less all going to become science. Let's go ahead, decompose all of this into science. I guess I could keep a little bit, I suppose. Right, well, let's go ahead and have a look at life extract. Don't read the study of life extract for a bit of faith. Hooray. Uh, next up, we'll go for red apples. We're almost through all of our faith now. Yeah, and next up, we will go for... Uh, do we really have much? Uh, we haven't completed the study of pigskin paper. Me as well, I suppose. And there we are. Marvellous. That is all of our um, resources used up, really. These need to stay, these need to stay. Uh, but pretty much anything else I'm carrying does not need to stay. Uh, do we have any stories to store? No, not really. Oh, that's fine for now. Uh, I'm going to grab these, actually. And I'm also going to grab the sand. Yes, they can come with us. Right. Let's go. Oh, wow. They've already finished it? Wow. I'm reasonably impressed. Let's go ahead and drop that off. And go grab uh, another heart or two hearts. I can't carry two hearts. I'll drag. Okay. I'm going to use this apple just to make room. There we are. Now we can grab two hearts. Uh, yep. Both of you. Only the distillation cube right now, because it's the only thing that, that uh, it just produces essence. I mean, we can grind things up in the mill, I suppose, at this point. Uh, yeah, actually, there's a lot of stuff I'd be able to shift around if I just empty my inventory first and, and cart things over. Certainly worthwhile, I suppose. But what we can do right now is we can go and have a quick word with Snake and say hello. Hello, hello. I was uh, told a few things. Uh, about that necklace. I was told that you could get some illegal stuff for me. I've spent the money, bought some instructions for the key. So unless you know how to turn dust into gold... Then just find that necklace for her. Or can't you handle it? I'm Snake. I can find everything and everyone in the town. And I know where this necklace is. I just can't... You know, it's really none of your business. I need to gain his trust. Maybe then he'll tell me more. Uh, I'm still wondering about that necklace. You have a very good reputation in your business. I wonder what could have gone wrong with Mr. Charm's necklace. <laughs> it's complicated. And the best there is at my job, I can find anything. Of course, that's a bit of a shady talent. So all these arrogant townspeople treat me like garbage. But still, they bring me their coins when they've got some trouble for me to sort out. Now that necklace has my reputation on the line. You told me you know where the necklace is, so what's the holdup? <sighs> it's not in town. It was purchased under orders of the Lord Commander from the Mountain Fort. The necklace has some kind of sentimental meaning for him. That's all I've been able to get so far. Hmm. Tell me about the Lord Commander. Once upon a time, he was a great warrior. He's the king's uncle. But of course, it's easy to be great when you're born in a palace and you have a father who loves you. If I were in his place, I'd definitely be king. But he just became protector of the North Pass. 
And now there isn't even anything to protect. <laughs> what about the mountain fort? The fort is north of the village. It's huge. But nowadays it's falling apart. The past collect, uh, collapsed when I was a child. It was the day after the great blast. It was the worst. Oh dear. We well, just became protector of the North Pass. And now there isn't even anything to protect. I could try to help. Maybe I could help you get it back. I don't know how though, but we could brainstorm. Brainstorm? That kind of spell? That could be quite useful. Uh, no, no. We could just think about the problem together and... Mm, actually, you might be help. You can try to get a necklace with the help of the Lord's servant. The hunchback, Kukal. Why can't ask him yourself? Why can't you ask him yourself? We had some kind of misunderstanding a while back. I sold him some ointment that might cure his hump. And somehow he missed the word might. So now it's up to you. To be honest, I'm betting you fail. Either way, it's a win-win for me. Uh, okay. Very well, I guess. Um, and before you ask, no, we can't get to the fort. I know, I know, much like the town, it was, come back in Alpha and it'll be there. Uh, when we're out of Alpha and it'll be there, and it's not. Just prepare yourself for, for disappointment. And you are never disappointed, except you always are, because you're always prepared for disappointment. Oh, the cruel irony of life. Uh, anyway, it's not a big deal. Don't worry. Uh, right then. Hmm. Kind of wouldn't mind being able to shunt some of this around. Uh, electric powder needs to be in the alchemy place. Damn it, why did I bring it back out? Because, in a word, I am a fool. Never mind. Never mind. We will drop off a few things. Womp, womp. That's the main one. Uh, we will then drop off the stone. All of it. Good, good. And then we're going to drop off the iron parts and many other things. Uh, there we go. Don't need to be carrying any of that stuff around. Ooh, we do need to drop off the sand for the polishing paste as well. Uh, unfortunately, I am still holding on to this electric powder. I should have dropped it off a million times. I know. I know. I am a bad addict. And I feel bad. Uh, let's drop off the mushrooms. Now then. Can we bake this meat? Please and thank you. I'm not fish. No, no, no. Baked meats. Yes. Go ahead. Make me six baked meats, please. And thank you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to have sleep. Man, I'm knackered. Whew. Right, let's uh, go ahead and gobble this down. Yeah, we are. Time for snooze. There we go. Right. Well, hmm, looking at the day. I'm thinking the place we need to go to is going to be, in my opinion, we're going to go and see Clotho. But before we do that, we're going to take a swing by and say hello to... Actually, I'm going to drop off this bread. I want to sell it at the church. And since I have a reason now to go to the church, I'll also drop off the electric powder while I'm there. I want to keep trying to pull up my uh, my reputation with the bishop. I think it's quite important for us. So, uh, let's first and foremost... Actually, no, we've got a, an alchemy place down here. Let's go and drop it off down there. Did I drop it? Oh. I, I didn't even have it with me. <laughs> That's so typical Ivac. Uh, oh, well. You have to laugh or you cry. Trust me. Trust me. I've, I've learned this. Right, let's uh, go and see. Has anyone decided to come confess their sins? Yes! Are you too guilty of the sin of being awful at inventory management? Well, it's okay. I forgive you. There's no way you're as bad as me. Take solace in that. Uh, right, I want to drop off all of the bread. There we are. Please and thank you. Good, good. Now then, let us... Uh, no. Shall we just walk it? We could walk it, but I'm not going to, and the reason why I'm not going to is... I've got a couple of things to drop off down here first. And then we're going to teleport over to the dead horse and sell all of this wine, of which there's frankly way too much. I know, I know, too much wine. What kind of nonsense am I spouting? Well, it's the sort of nonsense that comes from having an inventory full of wine. Alright, here you go. Please take all of that for 19 silver and 36 but that will do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And oh my lord, look, look at that. 
Wine is worth like nothing anymore. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I need to find something else to buy my wine. And that might be a good idea. Uh, we will drop by the merchant for the miller, sorry, to see if we can pick up some hops, though. I think that might be a good move. Hello, miller. I guess we're tired without any work to do. Well, allow me to help you by buying all your hop seeds. Thank you. Um, I'll also buy all of your wheat, I guess. Uh, honestly, I get more just buying the flour. 26 worth of flour? I mean, I could, I suppose. And then get you up to tier 3. But no, let, let's let's not be that, that excessive. Let's go for 56. There we are. And we'll just buy 40. There you go. That that can't say fairer than that. Well, you can, but you better not. This is not what I can hear you. Uh, right, okay. So we've got some flour. We'll drop her off at the house on the way back. We'll pick up so the electric dust. And then we will swing by Clotho. We've got the potion with us. Don't worry. We're at least going to make some bloody progress in this episode. That being said, we made progress on Snake's Quest. Now we know that I've got to talk with the hunchback somewhere. All right. Not that I've seen any hunchbacks in the game up to now, but uh, I'm sure I'll discover something. It will be fine. Let's grab a little bit of everything. There we go. And drop all this off. There we go. Might as well do this while we're here. Since it... Oops. Uh, since this is realistically where most of my money is coming from. Though I am hemorrhaging seeds right now, which isn't exactly great, but it's fine, I think, on the whole. Uh, can we get some more plant today? Yes, we can. Oh! We might actually be able to uh, plant the whole lot. Yes! In fact, we just ended up with more seeds than we started with. How utterly marvellous! I approve enormously! I deeply, deeply approve. There we are. And then we will keep working our way through. Hmm, maybe we've turned a new leaf and suddenly we are the plant whisperer i approve of this greatly in fact yeah. okay we're starting to uh, lose a little bit of progress we've gotten a few instances where we didn't quite get back all of the seeds that we planted in fact we are it looks like we've lost our whispering talent ah oh, no i spoke about the talent ah i broke the first and most important rule of plant whispering you do not talk about plant whispering Oh, wow. Uh, let's drop off. Well, no, we, we don't want to drop off the crop waste. We want to bring that with us. But that was a decent harvest. Very decent harvest. I wonder, can I? Oh. Oh, ho, ho. So this is where you plant them. All right. Well, I guess we're going to be slowly uh, replacing some of those with just regular hops. Which means that we're going to have to start getting beer production up in the house. Wasn't what I was expecting to do, but I'm not going to turn it down. Certainly not. Alright. Let's go and drop off the crop waste, or rather, we can quickly make use of it down here, I suppose. There we are. And I know, I know, we need to get uh, carrot seeds. The thing with the carrot seeds, we can go by and, and collect those at any particular time that we want. It's not strictly necessary for us to... Uh, to stress about it. What I'll probably do is get all of the plant, all of the fields set up there, get them all fertilized after the next ha full harvest, then head into, um, head into town, buy all of the seeds that I need, and then we'll, uh, then we'll take care of that. Uh, do I have the water to make all of this into dough? Let's have a quick look. <laughs> no. No, I don't. I do, however, have enough to make a good bit of pastry dough. Do I need that much pastry dough, though? No. No, we don't. Okay, just so one regular dough, then. Or rather, four regular doughs, I suppose. And uh, drop those in there. That's fine, we'll just leave those there. We don't actually need to uh, take them with. Alright, let's drop off. Ooh, I need to take some of those with me. Let's clear out that, shall we? I think so. All right. Pail of grape juice, please. Let's get those good. Now, I wonder if I can get seed oil out of any seeds. Or is it just hemp seeds now? Yeah, just, just hemp seeds. Uh, okay. 
Well, that's fine for now. But we're not going to make it out of human fat. I refuse on that one. Completely refuse. Uh, let's get enough silver. Great, we'll have three pails here. Have we got a pail of silver grape juice already in the tr in the trunk? No, we don't. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so one silver and one bronze it is, or copper, or whatever it's meant to be. There we go. Right, that'll do. Have I got anything else I want to carry with me? Uh, yes, I almost forgot, but I didn't. Haha, -ha. are you proud of me? I'm proud of me, even if you aren't. I'm proud enough of both of us. So there. Uh, we don't, however, need to bring along my uh, warp stone. I mean, I could warp back, I guess, but I'm not gonna. Uh, right, so with that, I want to grab the hearts. Well, in fact, we're gonna grab the everything and ferry it over and out of my cell there. If only everything were connected with just trunks. Like, if I could access things over over in that direction through the trunks over here, that would it would make me so so happy, so so very happy. Alas, I don't think it's a very likely thing to happen. Still, I hope for it. There we go. Eventually, that'll start filling up with items, much like this one has. Uh, do we have enough room over here for me to drop these off? Not quite. But that's fine. We can go and drop these down in the crate down here for the time being that'll be okay there we go we're slowly getting on top of things now very slowly mind you but it is happening all right let's go over and give this to clotho now i was asked in the comments what happens if you don't get a health potion in the dungeon uh well two things really one just keep trying you eventually will or two if you you're growing impatient, then just you've got two options. One, you can make it through alchemy, because you get all of the alchemical tools unlocked once you have alchemy unlocked. Um, so we can make health potions already. That's just something we can straight up make. There's no particular difficulty for it. However, another option for you is to uh, buy the cauldron from the blacksmith. That is an option. Whether it's a particularly good option, I couldn't tell you. I don't really know whether it would stack up well or not, but uh, it is definitely something you can go for. I do need this, so I'm probably going to have to save up for that one, because to finish off all of our items, and also gems, being able to gather diamonds. Mm. We'll see. All right then, Clotho. I have got you a health potion. Hmm, that looks good. Let's try it. Oh, now I remember I'm Clotho. I remember where I hid my cauldron. Okay, now I'm back. So what do you need from old Clotho? I got some good stuff, you know. You won't find potions this good anywhere else these days. Uh, can I trade? I could, what? I could buy a golden apple? I could buy, I could buy acid. I could just straight up buy acid. <gasps> I could straight up buy frogs for five copper. That is so trivial. Wow, okay, you already started on level two. This is crazy. Balsamic solution, dark elixir, alkali, tanning agent, digestion potion, effects on digestion potion. Food gives you more energy. Huh. Sounds pretty cool. Wow. I mean, these are all expensive, and almost all of this I can get myself, but... Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna buy all the frogs. Straight up, there's no reason not to. I can buy health potions now. I can buy energy potions now. Uh, I can buy all of the powders, but more than anything else, I can buy bushes. I can buy bushes. I'm absolutely gonna buy bushes. Please and thank you. Amazing. Okay, I need your help, Clotho. I need to help the merchant. He told me that he knew you well. He used to buy love potions from you with his friend, the priest. Oh, I remember. They were so sweet, but they were brothers, as I recall. So now, can I help? Uh, so how can I help him? He ate some hiccup grass and lost his sense of taste. He thinks he's cursed. Uh, sounds like a curse laid on him by another witch. So it would be unprofessional of me to help him. Oh, I understand. In old times, we used to help out in situations like this, but then the whole market collapsed. Now it's forbidden. 
Only the witch you place the curse on him can craft the potion to remove it. So there's no cure for him? Let me see. I told you the basics, and you're no witcher. There's a fancy word for you for what you are. Uh, there's a fancy word for what you are. Chemist! Alchemist! Right! So you can craft a potion for him, and I'll tell you the recipe. Just put salt and health solution together. Uh, wow! That is super easy. I've worked out how to make spices. Uh, health solution. Very certain we can get that quite cheaply. Okay, so salt and health. Do you sell salt? Please sell salt. I'll buy all of your salt. Oh, probably don't. Most vaccine. Ah, uh, oh well. Thank you very much, old Clotho. Thank you. You know what? I'm gonna grab some uh, iron on the way back. Might as well. Six iron. Not gonna turn my nose up at that. No, no. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we're gonna need an alchemy workbench. The first tier of alchemy workbench at that, because the second tier of alchemy workbench means that you... Oops, wrong way. I want to get over there. Uh, that you can make three ingredient potions. We absolutely don't want that. We want specifically only two ingredient potions. And I believe that is the first tier of alchemy workbench. So we'll have a quick swing by the church, see what's involved in that on our way. You know what? I, th I think this this episode has turned around. It seems that uh, not only have we made a pretty solid start on alchemy, on getting all of the, the necessary components in place for us to perform alchemy, we've also furthered along Snake's quest, we've learnt of a new NPC that I'm going to have to go and talk to, and in addition to that, we've also managed to uh, give Clotho her memory back. We found a source of very easy frogs. Which is so much better than the alternative. And in addition to that one, we have also learned what we need to do to uh, get the, the merchant's sense of taste back. Not bad for a day's work, I'll, I'll say. I, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, I just need some sticks. I need some peat. Very easy to do. Super easy. Not going to be a problem. Come on, all of you. Come on. There we are. And I'll drop these in the uh, fishing chest as well. I'll grab the sticks that I've got set down over here. And that should be all we need. Uh, 12 sticks might not be enough. We'll see. Uh, the mushrooms on the way. No, only the mushrooms right now. We've got enough berries. We don't need to worry about it. Mind you, without any uh, fish meat, those kebabs are a long way away. Much sadness from that. Okay, we've got... Two berry bushes. Oh, I thought they were only two. Oh, man. I really not bought enough. Uh, all right. Well, apple trees on this side. I guess we'll be buying more apple trees and another two berry bushes later. Not bad. I'll have to go and... Uh, looks like I have to actually do a little bit of work on them, but okay. I wasn't expecting that, hence walking away from them. Have I got any food? Uh, yes, I do. Go. Just one will do for now. Enough to get all this done, I should imagine. Ah, I've got to do a little bit of shoveling work. That's fine. Makes sense. Ah, oh, it's going to be great. From now on, I don't need to forage nearly as actively as I do elsewhere. Just having these here is sorted. If only there was somewhere that I could grow mushrooms. I wonder if there's some dank little cellar where I can start, start uh, a mushroom farm. Maybe. I haven't seen anything that, that hints at that yet, but I live in hope. Right. Oh, we haven't dropped off a couple of other items. So before I uh, go in there, get myself settled down, and then discover that I've got an inventory full of rubbish, let's quickly go and uh, sort that out, shall we? I think we should. Right. Yes. And I, I think this episode has definitely turned around. I'm pretty happy with what we've managed to do. I didn't, in the end, check on what we need for the um, the alchemist workbench. Uh, that's a bit of a shame, but uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll get that all sorted. Right, begin the work, and now it is high time for me to snooze. Ah, uh, 
we've earned it today. But that's where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next, where we will have a sermon in just one day's time. I hope you're looking forward to that. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>